Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gotta do this. I've always been a white knight. I've always been a simp champion. I've always been an individual who stuck up for bitches' rights and female entrepreneurs. Women that were able to take the pimp out of the equation and just become a fucking king. But you know what? I think I might have gone too far. I think I let these bitches get so ahead of themselves that you now have hoes who got degrees, two degrees. I'm sure it was psychology and fucking something else retarded that literally don't know what the fuck they're doing with their life, but they drop, they drop an OnlyFans, call it a business, and get to keep their fucking sense of self-worth and respect. Now, here's the thing, right? If you want some whole activity shit... Go ahead and accept the whole shit that come with the whole activity. You a fucking hoe. You put out this whole content. And listen, I'm sorry I'm getting flagrant right now. I'm getting a little saucy. I, a lot of things contributed to this. First of all, I got a nut out of my system. There is no sexual incentive. I'm like the fucking bald fuck from Game of Thrones. Like, there ain't nothing going on right now. And to top it all off, I just got done watching some Kevin Samuels. So, you know, I got a little bit of misogyny spiced up in there. And to put the cherry on top and basically make it a culmination of hating fucking women... We got Patrice O'Neal in the house. You already know I watch this shit, and now I want to go fucking punch a bitch in the face. I I'm just kidding. I would never hit a woman. I would just degrade her to the point of her feeling worthless. Now, in all seriousness, <laughs> this is basically a fucking epidemic of women thinking that them putting on a camera, taking pictures of their ass, tits, and whatever the fuck else, or if you're Bella Delphine, you have the slow rollout. That's, that's a I'll give it to Bella Delphine. She's a motherfucking mogul when it comes to that. But... Literally, if you just go to fucking YouTube and you just type in OnlyFans tips, you just get a plethora of hoes that are just like, guys, I got a tip for you. You turn on the camera, you point it at yourself, and you fucking zoom. Bro, no bullshit, no exaggeration. There are two elements to making a good OnlyFans account. One is you got to have a camera. Two, if you want to put in a minimal amount of work, I'm talking minuscule amount, you need to either create an Instagram to promote your shit or Reddit to promote your shit. Something that can basically get the word out there. I love how this guy goes, what is your business? If only you knew, brother. If only you knew. And what I love to, I was reading the comments. This dude just goes, I wish it was that easy for men to. Yo, let me, let me double like this fucking guy. Um, but basically, for OnlyFans, it's literally just get a fucking camera, get an account, and make Instagrams, Reels, TikToks, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And the money just starts pouring in. Bro, no bullshit. I remember a couple months ago, I saw this bitch's debut, Jasmine X. Uh, and by debut, I mean literally she turned 18 and decided, I want the bag early. I want the bag right now. By the way, there's absolutely positively... Oh my God, almighty. Oh Wait a second. Hold on a second. I just noticed this. By reproducing, republishing, or redistributing the work of copyright holder without permission, you may be violating or infringing on his or her rights under the Copyright Act. The copyright holder may sue for compensation from $250 to $150,000 or one year in jail. Who told these fucking bitches about the legal system? Yo, this is, this is getting fucking crazy, bro. This is getting fucking out of hand. Uh, but basically, this bitch bursts on the scene, 18, like that shit was like fresh off the fucking presses, made a Reddit account made her only fans and she was early to the game you know what i mean she was early in the sense that she actually had her follower count enabled and at the time i think i did the math the bitch was making like 400k a year uh you know needless to say i was on suicide watch for about a week but since then she's upgraded her bag upgraded her followers and she's also upgraded the optic of keeping things secret in a mystery I don't know why, but for some reason, people knowing how much you make, like, makes you not want to do it. Like, on Patreon, when you see someone's making, like, 100000 a month, you're like, wow, why would I give you money? But because she's smart and she wants simps to come in, not look at anything but her ass, she hides the follower count. Because right now, I'm going to tell you, bro, if she was making four hundred k before, like, every year, she's easily clearing a million. Like, literally clearing a fucking million. And honestly, limited time offer, 10% off. I might have to look into that. I might have to talk to my account and see if I can afford that shit. But this is basically a fucking hobby for women that next them, like, like literally, like, look, dude, there was one video I saw that got me so upset. It just said, I made 12K in a month with OnlyFans, no nudes. Like, dude, you got to understand, bro, right now, the amount of fucking simps, the amount of dudes who've gotten no nuts, the amount of people who are just tired of jerking off, like, they got too much self-respect to buy a flashlight, and at the same time, they don't have enough energy to just jerk it like a fucking weirdo. They go to OnlyFans, they basically give up, they say, listen, I accept my fate, I'll give you $12, give me the nut I'm looking for. 
it's a fucking booming business. Like, if Warren Buffett were to start investing this shit, I'd be there immediately. Like, I would have a fucking bag to throw at this business, because literally, this is the fucking DraftKings, but for whores. Like, this is gonna fucking IPO and just blow everyone out of the water. But, listen, I'm not talking about the business prowess. I'm not talking about the fucking bullshit of being a mogul or being a businesswoman or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think it really goes back to my insult roots. It's really bringing me back to 2010 when I used to play Call of Duty, drink Mountain Dew, and just hate bitches. And really what it is is that women are living life on easy mode where already bitches making money, like they literally just make so much money they don't even have to think about paying a bill. They don't even have to worry about moving shit around. Like just this month, I realized I had a fat ass credit card bill. So you know what I had to do, bro? I had to move some money amount. I had to make some moves, take some shit that wasn't liquid, make it liquid, piss my pants, add some liquid. It was stressful, right? It, was, it wasn't fun. I guarantee you these hoes don't know what the fuck balancing a budget is. They know they know they got money where a budget is unnecessary. They know that. But it's basically to the point where it's like they're living life on easy mode. They like they living with fucking cheat codes unlocked. So again, there's nothing wrong with that. Like <laughs> listen, do not get it twisted. If I did not look like fucking grimace from the McDonald's commercials and I was the opposite sex, you know I'd be on OnlyFans, and I'd be freaking the game, because I have a YouTube channel, Facebook account, MySpace, I go all the way fucking back, I make an Ask Jeeves fucking account, I don't care, I will push my shit out there, like a motherfucking Benny the Butcher pushing shit out from the plug, like I will fucking sell shit, I will flip my fucking ass, but that's not the case. Now, if I did do that, I do realize that I basically have no self-respect, and I'm basically on some straight thought shit. Now, I'll be honest, there's some bitches out there that like have foresight, because this bitch said, <laughs> this bitch said, I want to make five fingers a month on OnlyFans without showing my face. You want to talk about a superpower? Fuck Spider-Man. Fuck Superman. Fuck those fucking fruity tooty fucking low-key fruits that walk around in spandex all the time. This bitch figured out a way to get the bag and pretend like she has some self-respect. Like, do you understand that she could go out right now, marry someone, and just not bring it up? Like, you know how, like, women go crazy in college and they're like, oh, I never did ask to ask. That never happened. This is the same shit. It's like, yeah, you know, I made a couple thousand, like 40 grand a month. You know, I got the money, I got the bag, and I never showed my face. That, honestly, that's a big brain move. That's some, like, big fucking gigantic fucking like galaxy fucking shit honestly i respect this bitch uh but not enough to say she's not a hoe but in all reality you basically have a trade-off in life you chose a very easy quote-unquote career you got something that is literally just god-given you got the thought tendency you got the fucking curves to go along with the simp fucking army and you basically have this fucking resource that took no effort to create. Now, and again, there's nothing wrong with this. The problem is you can't be proud of it. That's the thing I'm talking about. I'm talking about you shouldn't be so positive. You shouldn't be out here talking about I got a fucking business. Bitch, you don't have a business. You have a side hustle that is so fucking ridiculously amazing that I'm jealous. Like, I am jealous to a degree. But at the same time, like, you can't say, like... I'm a fucking businesswoman. That's like motherfuckers on YouTube who are like, yeah, you know, I run my own business and they make fucking prank videos. It's like, no, dude, you're a fucking dickhead. Like, you know you know how, like, you have an actual career and you actually worked hard to quote-unquote get something? I'm going to tell you how. You stressed out all the fucking time. Right now, I got off work like 11 o'clock. You want to know why? Because I'm a cuck. And you know what I'm going to do after this? After I'm done with this shit, I'm going to go read how to get better at interviews. That way I can stop sucking dick and maybe get a job that's better. But here's the thing, right? That's just me. Everything's anecdotal. But at the end of the day, if you look at a bitch who has an OnlyFans and think that she is on the same level as Bill Gates, I highly recommend that you go in your car, leave the window open just a little bit, fucking put your foot on the gas pedal while you're in the garage, and take a nap. I think that might be able to help you think a little bit clearer. No, but for real, though, if I was a woman, I'd be getting that bag, too. What's, what's the last grade you completed? College. Oh, okay. Well, that's money fucking wasted. Right? At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!